Okay, so now in Photoshop, what I'm going to do is let's just mirror these to the other side. So I'm just going to go to Image, Rotate Canvas, Flip, Horizontal, now it's on the other side. I'm going to resave that out. And again, that's a TIFF file, but I'm just going to change the side to RT. No, it's fine. I'll do the same thing with the other side. Rotate canvas. Horizontal. Save as. And I'm just going to change it to, again, RT. For the other side. No compression. Okay, so go back to Maya. And now in Maya, what I want to do is bring those weights in for the opposite side. So I'll select the character, go back to my Edit Deformer Paint Cluster Weights tool. I actually have the upper right cluster selected. And the thing about this is when I bring that, import that map in, it's going to perform the operation that it has uh, under the paint operation. So if I use uh, smooth, I'm actually going to smooth based on those values. So I'm going to do a replace to replace it 100%. So I just select replace. I'm going to scroll down to import. And it's still on luminance, just like we exported. I'll say import. It takes us right there. And that's the up R, up, I up RT. And see how it does that right for us. So now I'll do it for the lo lower right. So again, just go and change your cluster. I'm going to change it to I down RT. Import. I down RT. Import. There we go. And that looks a little bit more like the other side. So what we're going to do, let's just test the animation. So what are we going to do? Uh, okay, so I'll key them in their open position. There we are. And we'll go to frame 24. And let's see, the lower eye goes to 12. So I'm just going to copy that out. Paste that. Key it. Looks very similar. And I'll grab the upper eye joint. Negative 15, I'll copy that. Oh, come here. Grab a shot, grab the joint. Paste that. And key it. And now I have my eyes doing what I want them to do. I'm overshooting them just a little bit for the test. That was just helping me to paint them. We can go back just a couple frames so we can see where they were close. And the nice thing actually about using joints is you can actually do a few extra little things like move them up and down to change where that center is. Especially if your character's got his eyes, say, half open and then he moves his eyeballs up to look up. You can grab those eyes and move the pupil up just a little bit as well. If I grab all three of these and oh let's change ourselves to world space global there we go it looks like he's looking up it's a little bit extreme you don't want to move it that much but you'd want to have it move just a little bit to follow the eye